Hey everyone, welcome back to the place we're testing every single mask on Amazon. Today we're looking at Right Care. Let's get it in the clamper and see what tests. Right Care, Right Care, Right Care. All right, this is a claiming to be a CAN95 mask, and I can tell you right away that it's not. How do I know that? Just by looking. Well, they're missing a few important details, which if you've seen any of these videos before, you already know. This is Mr. Clamp. Actually, he didn't go to medical school for four years to be called Mr. This is a PFE machine, a particulate filtration efficiency machine. This thing does the N95 test that you would use to make sure that your N95 masks are up to snuff if you happen to have a factory that makes N95 masks. It also works for the CAN95 test, uh, basically the same test. How can I tell this is not a CAN95? Well, it says CAN95 on it, but you can't just take a piece of toilet paper and stamp CAN95 and make it a mask. That's not how it works. There's science involved. That's right. And standards, and part of the standard is writing a couple things on here. So what this is missing is which CAN95 standard. Now this one on the backs is GB2626-2006. That needs to be written on the mask. Or the other thing that they're missing is the name of the manufacturer. Now, they're trying to sell this to you as Right Care, but that's probably not the manufacturer. In fact, it's not. The manufacturer is Quanzo Hexing Sanitary Products Co. Limited. So any of those things printed on the mask would be beneficial and would make it a legitimate CAN95 mask, as long as it also passed tests like this. And there's about five other tests that we're not gonna do today. This is a great brand. It looks like something could be in Walgreens. Not a terrible price. Let's check out the uh, mask real quick. Yeah, I mean, I've seen better construction, um, but it's not the worst. Try it on. It's a little tight, as you can see. It's giving me the little elf ears. I'm gonna have to like visit Santa's castle. Santa lives in a castle, all right? I don't remember my, I don't remember my Santa lore. And this smells like a, oh gosh, no. Sometimes the things I think I shouldn't just say out loud. Um, I'm gonna call this smell uh, a box of newly made crayons. That's what it smells like. Yeah, it actually kind of gave me a little bit of a headache. Or maybe we have a gas leak here, we'll never know. But does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Let's check out the machine. That's what you came for. 97.573, 97.573. Not officially a KN95 mask, but it's doing the filtration, at least for the one we tested. Did you get the breathability? Breathability 148, just below 150, which is what we wanna see. 148 Pascals, that's just the way we're measuring it to see how breathable it is over a long period of time. You want it to be under 150 if you're gonna to have to wear it for, for more than you know, a long period of time. But check out our listing uh, of all the masks we've tested on Amazon, and there's some that are testing a lot better than that. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate you watching this test, sticking with me. And all that I ask, all that I ask, is that you watch the first 30 seconds of the next test, which is starting right now.